بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد I hope it's if it like continue on in our discussion about ruling by other than what Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Qur'an addressing his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with regards to making a judgment between some Jews, two Jews that had a dispute. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said fi kitab al-kareem فَإِن جَاءُكَ فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ أَوْ أَعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ وَإِن تُعْرِضْ عَنْهُمْ فَلَنْ يَضُرَّكَ شَيْئًا وَإِنْ حَكَمْتَ فَأَحْكُمْ فَأَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِالْقِسْتِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ يُحِبُّ الْمُقْسِتِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Then when they come to you, or if they come to you, then judge between them or avoid them. And if you avoid them, then it will not harm you at all. And if you make a judgment, then judge between them with justice. Bilqis. Verily, Allah loves those from the muqsiteen, meaning those people of justice. Sheikh Al-Muhaddith Ahmed Al-Shakir, Ahmed Shakir, Rahmatullah alayhi said, والقس هو عدل ولا عدل حق إلا حكم الله ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وحكمه بخلافه هو جور والظلم والضلال والكفر والفسوق ولذلك ولهذا قال تعالى بعد ذلك ومن ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الكافرون وقال ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الظالمون وقال ومن لم يحكم بما أنزل الله فأولئك هم الفاسقون. الله سبحانه وتعالى says or Sheikh Ahmed Shakir said with regards to that ayah he said in قسط it is justice it is عدل and there is no real justice except by the ruling of Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the rule, any rule that contradicts that is a type of oppression and misguidance and dhulm and disbelief and wickedness, fusuq. And with regards to this, the Almighty after that said that whoever rules by other than what Allah has revealed, then they are the disbelievers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and whoever judges be, uh, with by other than what Allah has revealed, then they are the Volimun. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in Surah Al-Ma'idah, and whoever judges by other than what Allah has revealed, then they are the fasaqoon. Then Shaykh Ahmed al Shakir said, with regards to this, or actually this is not the statement of Shaykh Ahmed Shakir, forgive me. This is from his book, but this is actually the statements of the uh, of, of Shaykh uh, Muhammad bin Ibrahim ibn Abdul Latif Ali Sheikh Rahmatullah Ali, who used to be the Mufti in, in Saudi Arabia before Bin Baz. And he said with regards to this, Fandr Kayf Sajjalallahu Ta'ala Al Al Hakimin bi Ghayri ma anzalallah kufr wa dhulm wa al fasuk wa min al mumtana 
أن يسمى الله سبحانه الحاكم بغير ما أنزل الله كافرا ولا يكون كافرا بل هو كافر مطلقا إما كفر عمل وإما كفر اعتقاد وما جاء عن ابن عباس رضي الله تعالى عنهما في تفسير هذه الآية من رواية الطاووس وغيره يدل أن الحاكم بغير ما أنزل الله كافر إما كفر اعتقاد ناقل عن الملة وإما كفر عمل لا ينقل عن الملة أما أول وهو كفر الاعتقاد فهو عنوان شيخ محمد Ibn Ibrahim عليه, he said regarding those ayats he said and look how the Almighty lists the, the different uh, people who rule and judge by other than what Allah has revealed as disbelief and as oppression and as wickedness and whoever denies this, then Allah has uh, called this person, this person who judges by other than what Allah has revealed, a disbeliever. And then he says, and this person is not just a disbeliever, rather he is a disbeliever ala itlaq, mutlaqin, you know, without exception. Then the Shaykh gives us the important tafsil, the important details, so that way we don't become misguided by reading part of the statement. Then he says, Imma kufra amalan wa imma kufra al He said, either this is the disbelief, either this person has basically fallen, fallen into uh, an act of disbelief through actions or an act of disbelief through belief. And then he said, and what was related from uh, Ibn Abbas anhuma, in his explanation of this ayah from the narration of Ta'us and other than him shows that the one who rules by other than what Allah has revealed is a disbeliever or has fallen into disbelief either disbelief through their belief which takes them out of the fold of Islam or disbelief through their action which does not take them from the fold of Islam so what's imperative for us to understand is two beautiful points here is number one showing us that this action of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed sometimes it accompanies ittiqad and that this takes you out of the fold of Islam. And sometimes that it is just a major sin, a, ma a, a type of voom, oppression, and a type of uh, the minor kufr, and that it is uh, a type of fisk, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes it. And the second benefit from this that we take, because many of the takfiris use the statement and the risala, the... Uh, the book or treatise of Sheikh Muhammad bin Ibrahim rahmatullahi many of the takfiris use this as a hujja, as proof to say, to take the leaders out of the fold of Islam. But here we have beautiful statements which are from this Sheikh himself, from this great Imam rahmatullahi which verifies for us that he believed in those same details which are narrated upon the Salaf that come from the Salaf like Ibn Abbas radiallahu ta'ala anhuma and ta ta on the tongue of Ta'us and others from the Mufassirin that this issue of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed sometimes she takes you out of the fold of Islam sometimes it's the Kufr, Duna Kufr as is narrated uh, uh, on Ibn Abbas from the narrations of Ibn Abbas Moving on to some other important issues with regards to the third aspect of this issue, the third mas'ala that I want to talk about as we talked about first the 
impermissibility of ruling by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed, that this is muharram, and this is a type of kufr. It can either be the kufr that takes you out of the fold of Islam, or the kufr that, uh, the minor kufr, which leaves the person doing this to still be a Muslim, but yet they have committed a major sin. And the second mas'ala that we uh, were attempting to deal with is the issue of the ruler, of the of the, the person who rules by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed. And we already mentioned the statement of Shaykh al-Albani where he said, لَيْسَ كُلُّ مِنْ وَقَعَ فِي الْكُفْرِ مِنُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَقَعَ كُفْرَ عَلَيْهِ وَعَحَا فَبِيهِ He said that everyone who falls into disbelief from amongst the believers uh, is, is not a disbeliever. So disbelief doesn't encompass this person. Meaning that sometimes it can take you out of the fold of Islam. It depends on the state of the person who has fallen into disbelief. And it, this goes back to the issue which we also mentioned uh, regarding takfir. Takfir mutlaq or takfir ma'ayyan. And we said takfir mutlaq is the general takfir. And takfir ma'ayyan is when it comes to applying that ruling or that judgment of takfir upon a particular individual. Imam bin Uthaymeen rahmatullah said, Hunaka qadiyya, or was asked, the Shaykh was asked about the person who rules by other than what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals, and you know, what it, what is this, the state and, 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 and about the issue of making takfir and establishing the proof on this person who has ruled by other than what Allah revealed. So the Shaykh responded by saying, Kulu insan, fa'la mukafferin, fa'la bud ala yujid, fihi mani' takfir. When he had a ja'a fil hadith as sahih, lama sa'aluhu, how nunabith al hukam or al hakam? Call إِلَّا أَن تَرَوْا كُفْرًا بَوَاحٍ عِنْدَكُمْ فِيهِ مِنَ اللَّهِ بِرْهَانٍ فَلَا بُدْ مِنْ كُفْرِ صَرِيحِ الْمَعْرُوفِ الَّذِي لَا يَحْتَمِلَ تَعْوِيلٍ فَإِنْ كَانَ يَحْتَمِلَ تَعْوِيلٍ فَإِنَّهُ لَا يُكَفِّرُ صَاحِبُهُ وَإِنْ كُلْنَا إِنَّهُ كُفْرٌ فَيُفَرِّقْ بَيْنَ قَوْلٍ وَقَائِلٍ وَبَيْنَ فِعْلٍ وَفَاعِلٍ قَدْ تَكُونُ فِعْلًا فَعْلَةٌ فِسْكٍ وَلَا يُفَسَّقْ الْفَاعِلٍ لِوُجُورٍ مَانِعٍ يَمْنَعُ مِنْ تَفْسِيكِهِ وَقَدْ تَكُونْ كُفْرًا وَلَا يُكَفْرُ الْفَاعِلٍ لِوُجُورٍ مَا يَمْنَعُ مِنْ تَكْفِيرِهِ And then the Shaykh has some other beautiful statements, but we'll stop there. This is fantastic, this statement. And this shows that Ben Uthimeen, unlike what some of the people try to claim about this great imam, that he, agreed, that he considered all the leaders to be disbelievers if they ruled by other than what Allah revealed. Well, here's the imam himself answering a question and bringing us those uh, tafsir. He said, every person that does an act of disbelief, then it is uh, necessary or it's a reason or that we should basically look for a reason to not make takfir of them. As long, you know, if, if we find a, a man a takfir, meaning those things which prohibit from making takfir. And he said, and in this regard, it came in the uh, authentic hadith when he, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was asked, should we uh, remove the leader? And the Prophet ﷺ responded by saying, No, as long as you do not see clear disbelief from Allah uh, is, is the barhan, is the proof or the hujjah. That means it's clear, undisputable disbelief. And then he said, Rahmatullah So it is a necessity. Then it is a necessity or it is it necessitates that this disbelief is clear and known, meaning that this is an action that's clear and known, and there's no dispute regarding this person who has committed this act of disbelief, that 
and that it is not uh, that ta'wil, it is not excusable by ta'wil, meaning it is not excusable by uh, misinterpretation. Uh, and then he, rahmatullah said, and he said, and if this uh, person or this issue that a person has fallen into or what have you, or th this act of kufr, or he's talking about the, the one who's done it, that if it is possible that they that it, that there was ta'wil or this misinterpretation, uh, a false interpretation or the wrong interpretation was involved, then the person who has done this is not declared a disbeliever. And then if we say, وَإِن قُلْنَا إِنَّهُ كُفْرُ even if we say that this is disbelief, meaning that a person has fallen into disbelief, but that doesn't necessitate that they are disbeliever. And then he says that there's a difference between al-qawl wa qa'id. There's a difference between the statement and the one who states it. Meaning if someone makes a statement of disbelief and the person themselves, there's a difference between that. The hukum is different. And then he says, wa bayna fi'l wa fa'il. And between the one who does an action uh, and the action itself, meaning an action of disbelief, and the one who has uh, done that action of disbelief. There's a difference between that. And he said, be, uh, it's possible that the action is fisk, or is a type of wickedness, or wicked sin, or wicked sin, but the person who has done this action is not a wicked sinner due to a man. Uh, that prevents this from him being declared a wicked sinner. Meaning a man, meaning something that prohibits you from being uh, declared, which is like you have the mu'ani takfir, for example, that a person is excused from ignorance, or they could be, uh, this goes along with it, they're new to Islam, so they're ignorant of a, a ruling, or they live far away from, uh, from getting the message, or the correct aqidah, or whatever the case may be, or that they're excused by ta'wil through misinterpretation, uh, or, uh, so we said jahil, uh, ignorance, and ta'wil, or that they're forced, mukrih, so a person who is forced as well. Uh, those are some of the mu'ana takfir. That means those things, if those things are present, when a person does an action of kufr, then you cannot make takfir upon that person because they are excused by that mana. That mana pre 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 uh, prevents you from making the hukum of takfir. This is what the judges would look into and the ulama would look into when they uh, make these rulings. And then the shaykh said, وَقَدْ تَكُنْ كُفْرًا وَلَا يُكَفْرَ فَاعِلْ لِوُجُودْ مَا مَنَعَ مِنْ تَكْفِيرِهِ And likewise, he said, and also, and uh, it could be an act of disbelief, meaning a person could do it the act of disbelief. And but the person who has done this is not a disbeliever due to a manner. Again, due to something that prohibits from making a takfir of him. And so I hope that this is clear because this is imperative, this de these details, because this is what you find is missing from the takfiris and the hizbis who busy themselves with rulership and uh, trying to usurp the authority. And we're going to try to be very brief and end this here. And here's a couple of other important things uh, with regards to the last mas'ala is the issue that if takfir is made upon a leader. And perhaps that is better left for one last sitting, and we'll be brief when we do it. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and bless us with a class with a bat. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.